Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to clean up your grapevines. As you can see, this is where I have mine. We used to have this thing in the backyard, but the wind blew off the top. So now we transferred it here to use it for our grapevines. As you can see, we are pretty much in the beginning of summer and they started growing once again. Look at this one, it is pretty much touching the floor. Also, these little bugs have been eating the leaves, so we're gonna use some natural spray to eliminate the bugs. But as you can see, this is the old growth from last year, and this is the new one. As you can see, it is pretty much trying to go to my cherry tree. So in today's video, I'll be pretty much cutting what I need to cut, and I'll be using zip ties to pretty much put them in place and guide them this way. I want this whole thing to be covered that way underneath it will create a shade spot maybe with some chairs you can sit relax eat some grapes all right so the first thing that we are going to do is pretty much determine which of these are completely dried out and which of them are good the way you figure it out is pretty simple you simply go at the very end and you snap it if they snap super easy like this that means they're pretty much not going to produce anything but if you go right here see when i snapped it right here but it's very tough and it looks like you will have to wiggle it multiple times to break it that means there's life in this vein so we're simply going to use zip ties just like i did last year and we are going to tie them up also all of these right here this new growth that's coming from the bottom we're pretty much going to cut all of that up i want to have at least three feet off the ground where it's clearly just a vein and nothing else. And if this is your first year growing grapes, make sure you think about the long term. Your goal is to pretty much position them and expand them to the area that you want. You don't want them growing wild just like this all over the place. That pretty much will cause the grape to use way more energy and it will produce way less grapes. Your main goal is to get as many grapes as you want. As you can see, they are already growing, little ones. So by cutting off some of these veins that are not producing, we're gonna increase the growth, the vitamins, causing us to have even more grapes. So this is what I have done so far. As you can see, it looks way, way better. My main goal is to have three big veins that pretty much support the entire grape system. And I want them to go all the way until the end right here. As you can see last year, they reached it but this is the second year of me growing these grapes so hopefully this year i believe they'll be able to reach it with no problem as you can see i have cut down a lot and i use the zip ties to pretty much secure the grape vines so they keep going in this direction check it out zip ties right here right here as you can see this is all the stuff that i had trimmed off literally half of the grape check it out now these grapes are going to be way way better all right so this is one variety of grapes this is another that i planted last year and i have one small one right here growing as well so three varieties but i believe i will have to probably transplant that one uh somewhere else and then leave this one over here so it can connect with this one so i'll have green grapes on one side and then red grapes on the other and they'll be all mixed up underneath and it's gonna look pretty sweet all right so the next thing that i want to talk about is getting rid of these pests that are pretty much eating the leaves also if your grapes get these like uh bluish spots on them once they start ripening you need to spray, spray your grapes and i will show you the products that i personally use one other thing that i want to mention before you spray your grapes make sure to cut them make sure to keep the ones that you want to keep the ones that you do not want to keep cut them out and remove them you don't want to be wasting your product on vines and leaves that you're going to cut anyway so the first step is to literally cut everything that you don't want everything that is going in the opposite direction cut that out and then spray it with the stuff and it's going to be really really good one other thing that i want to mention all the stuff that you cut like i did right here make sure to throw it in the garbage especially if your plant is sick if it has some type of disease if there's pests eating the leaves simply because all of these bugs all of these pests they're going to stay on the leaves so even if you spray them they're going to make their way 
on the top of the vines again and then you're going to have the exact same problem as you can see i have everything piled right here i will be removing it dumping it in the trash so now i have removed all the leaves and all the cuttings pretty much threw them in the garbage and now i will start spraying the grapes with a three in one garden spray this thing kills all lethal insects mites pretty much everything that eats your grapes and you want to get rid of it also you want to spray this early in the morning or in the evening you don't want to spray it at direct sunlight also it is very smart to spray this before your leaves turn like this but if you're at a stage like i am right now where the bugs are started eating it then you can spray it also if you are visually seeing bugs you want to spray this at least every couple of days probably like three to five days so you can eliminate all the insects so let's get right to it also i will have an amazon link for this product in the description box below so if you are interested in it you'll be able to buy it on amazon and now let's start spraying so you pretty much want to soak the leaves make sure you're not getting it into your face or in your eyes or any of that stuff i also like to spray the vines as well because some of the insects they use this to climb up also spray the base as well check it out this nozzle is pretty good so pretty much one little puff for each grape and you should be good also follow the wind direction right now the wind is blowing this way so that is why i'm spraying it from the rear that way when i spray the wind doesn't blow it back into my eyes you want to make sure that your leaves are pretty much soaking let me see see right here i'll show the camera it's catching it but that is how you spray it super easy super simple it will take maybe like five ten minutes to spray everything also if you have a step stool or something you can climb up on it get those leaves on top as well but that is pretty much it that is what i do every single year to have healthy fruits as you can see i have two cherry trees right here my blackberries are coming in as well grapes apples limes lemons you name it i pretty much have it all right so that concludes this video i would appreciate it if you press the like button subscribe to the channel see you in the next video peace out